My name is Chuck and I have a Mercedes-Benz Repair Garage in Austin, Texas. Well, this is my passion, Mercedes-Benz and pianos. I started piano lessons when I was 10 years old. When I was 15, I auditioned for a weekend program at Juilliard, even though it wasn't accepted. I enjoyed playing classical music. When I was growing up, um, my family couldn't afford a Steinway, so we had a Hardman piano. And then I exceeded the limitations of the piano. And it was years and years and years uh, before I was able to buy a Steinway. And the first one I bought actually was $2,500. <laughs> and then I bought another one for $10,500, but technically the piano had issues. I went to Steinways in Austin, Texas, and they wanted $117,000 out the door for a Steinway B that played very, very well. I looked at a D that they had from 1888, and it was $140,000 out the door. I originally had called, Todd answered the phone. I had asked him questions, and I had watched a lot of the videos. I had looked at a lot of the pianos they had done to restoration, and um, he made the process really easy. I selected a Steinway D. I chose Linda Blatz. If I ever needed to sell the piano, I can get very close to what I paid for it. I would never, within 20 years, get close to what Steinway wanted. Oh, I wanted the decal on the new soundboard, which he got for me and I wanted the decal on the side of the piano, which he got. Uh, when I ordered the action, I ordered it with a Renner Action and Steinway Hammers. The Renner Action is more towards the dimensions of when the piano was new. Well, one of the concerns when you look at uh, pianos that are for sale at different stores, they say they've been reconditioned or rebuilt or, you know, but you don't know who did it, uh, what they've used in materials. Uh, with Linda Blads, you know, they tell you exactly what they're going to put into it, and they have a very good name. So I believe that if somebody is looking for a Steinway online, they're more likely to buy a Linda Palad piano than a piano that nobody knows who rebuilt. We're going to have some people come in. We have people coming in from New York, some concert people, and they're going to come down and play the piano when they're in Austin. And we have some uh, music people in Austin that are kind of come in and play different varieties of music. Uh, so we're going to host some, you know, events here. It should be fun. This was probably, uh, you know, if you want to call something a bucket list, this is it. This is what I really, really wanted. And I got it. <laughs>